And the question comes up, how do you heal a tree? How do you keep a tree healthy? Well, we don't throw things at the bark. We don't throw things at the leaves and the branches. We have to feed the roots. And when you're feeding the roots of a tree, the, the, the analogy is those roots are in here. Every experience you've ever had, every thought you've ever had, everything that's ever occurred to you is constantly being run through like a hamster wheel. Am I safe? Am I going to be okay? Do I dare um, step out on the sidewalk? I remember when I got hurt and I got scared. All of these thoughts that run through your brain, those are the roots that are feeding your system. So if you have beliefs that say, I'm not good enough, I don't belong, I don't matter, nobody cares about me, I can't do anything right, it's not safe for me to stand out or speak up or even, even be, be present, your tree starts to shrink. And if those thoughts are going around constantly over and over and over again, that becomes your reality. And like um, um, Bruce Limpton in that book, The Use of the Biology of Belief, what, that becomes the environment. And when you have a thought, that thought creates a chemical reaction in your head. And that chemical reaction will either dump chemicals in of love or they'll dump chemicals in of fear. If you have thoughts that say, I'm not safe, it's not safe, um, I'm, I don't belong, I can't do it, your body fills your body with chemicals, uh, norepinephrine um, and histamines and things that make you want to run away. Cortisol is another one because it says this isn't a good environment, you need to get away. And yet what happens is we have those thoughts constantly all day. So your body um, lives in this soup of negativity and your body can't take care of itself when it's afraid all of the time. Your body doesn't heal when it's in that state, right? Cause it's expecting to have to run. And so then, you know, your health just starts to deteriorate. deteriorate. Well, and you know, when you say that, what I'm really present to is also everything that's going on in the world right now. And like, just the things that we're bombarded with constantly through, you know, newspapers or media or social media, whatever it is, um, just even seeing those images and having them come into your subconscious and without, you know, without you even being aware of that, even that you start to replay Absolutely. over and over, over and over again. And, over. and when you're like constantly watching that, it's like reinforcing that fear and that stress in your body. So it's like now, mm -hmm. like you said, right? So you, you need a certain level of stress when something happens and you yeah. need to, yeah. away from like, to move you away. Yeah, the bears of Alberta or like the tigers in India. But when your body's constantly like that, there starts to be a breakdown, right? So what's the mm -hmm. process like that happens when you're in that constant state of yeah. stress, stress, stress? Yeah, and I'll give you a great example from nature. If there's a deer and the deer's out in the forest and it's sitting there grazing and all of a sudden it, it hears some rustling and it looks up and it sees there's a coyote or a wolf that's, that's, it's been spotted. It sends up an immediate flag and says, I need to get away because I am in danger in this moment. And it trots off. All of its energy goes to its muscles. Its lungs open up. Its eyes dilate because all it wants to do in that moment is run, 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 run. But when it runs away and it stops and it realizes it's safe, 20 minutes later, it goes back to grazing and it's relaxed and it's calm. Humans, on the, on the other hand, we, relive we it have all. this frontal lobe <laughs> that continues to relive these things over and over. And so in that moment, that, 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 having that, that little bit of, of stress to get us moving is important, but we relive it. And that's really what, what PTSD is is we take that scenario that scared us beyond belief. And once it's over, we don't stop thinking about it. We go back and we say, man, if I, only I had done this differently, or if I had said this, or I remember when they were coming at me and I got all aggressive. And next thing you know, your heart's racing, your lungs are going, your body stops feeding its immune system and it feeds all of that to the muscles. So now you've got this anxious feeling inside of you. Because and everything so that happens in here is in the now. Yeah. Whether it's something in the past or something yeah. we are projecting or worried about possibly happening in the future, everything in here is in the now. That's right. Right. Because your mind doesn't know the difference between past, present, and exactly. That's right. When you close your eyes and you think about it, it can't tell if it's happening right, right. now or if it happened 30 years ago. Or never happened. Right 